on ATV News. It was a national day of recognition for Martin Luther King. Find out how USU showed his support a little late. You may have been getting dinner here. We'll show you where you can find an X Games athlete. We'll show you a diet that's knocking out pounds and opponents. This week in ATV Sports, after starting 2-2 two and two in conference play, we'll show you how the men's basketball team did in their most recent games. And on the ice, the hockey team went 3-4 and four over the break. We'll show you how they fared in their most recent game. The skies are clean and the air is clear. How long is it going to stay that way? Plus the seven days. All that and more, this is ATV News. We ran a basketball program, we we're still running a basketball program the right way, in my mind. And I've got peace with that. That's Stu Morrill surprising a lot of us, announcing his retirement. Coach Morrill has been at Utah State for 17 years. He says it's just time. Not we'll not have some more on that later during sports, uh, but for now, over to you, Chris and Alicia. Challenges. Thanks for tuning in to ATV News. I'm Alicia Facer. And I'm Christopher Campbell. Martin Luther King Jr. Day was Monday, but Cache Valley marked the occasion in its own way and in its own days. Residents in Cache Valley gathered in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Friday. From singing to expressing thanks to King, the night was all about celebrating the civil rights leader and how he dedicated his life for everyone's equality. He not only gives you this wonderful vision of what's possible, but he also challenges us and he challenges each of us to be the best that we can be. Martin Luther King, I think, is very well deserving of his holiday and I think, I hope America remembers Martin Luther King and his legacy. I guess I just don't know what good there is in faith if we can't and won't turn to it in moments of human need. On campus, the Martin Luther King Jr. observance was Tuesday and it brought light to an issue that continues to need attention. Last night, people of different racial and ethnic backgrounds marched around the Taggart Student Center with candles to celebrate King's legacy. It kicked off with speakers and a slam poet. The goal was to raise awareness about racism in America with the theme, It's Not Over. Black Student Union President Janae Roberts says the march was her favorite part of the event. It warmed my heart a at Aggie Marketplace in the Taggart Student Center, you will find hungry people eat because you saw people, you know, lighting each other's candles and talking to people that they probably have never met before. And it wasn't a race thing at that moment. It was just like, okay, we're all coming together to do one thing for campus and for themselves, which is just to shed awareness and to march for a really good cause. If you would like to get involved with BSU, they meet every Thursday at 6:30 p.m. The X Games kick off today and a local from Hyde Park will compete in them. We went to Aggie Marketplace in Beaver Mountain to bring you the story. At Aggie Marketplace in the Taggart Student Center, you will find hungry people eating food, a place to converse, and an athlete at the upcoming X Games. 24-year-old Carson Geiger will compete Thursday afternoon in the Unified Snowboarding Slalom. An achievement he says he obtained through lots of practice. That's how I got so good is I went every Sunday to get better and I go every Saturday now to get better. Geiger was born with a genetic disorder called FG syndrome which gives him an intellectual disability and makes his muscles weaker. His mother says despite this he is a hard worker. He's had to work probably a hundred times harder than any other person to learn how to read, um, to learn how to do a lot of the things other kids just it comes natural for them as a special olympian geiger will be timed going down a mountain and his final time will depend on someone else it took carson a little over 28 seconds to get from the top of that ridge down to here in the x games he'll be paired up with a pro they'll average the scores out and compete against nine other pairs geiger's coach bob mcmahon has full confidence that he will do well personally i think carson's going to take gold but that's just because I know Carson is 
really, 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 really good. Carson competes tomorrow at 3 p.m., but ESPN hasn't specified which channel yet. Cache Valley resident Leslie Jensen appeared in court Tuesday morning for a preliminary hearing. Jensen is accused of creating false documents and faking brain cancer as part of a fundraising scheme. The preliminary hearing was waived and she's scheduled to appear before a judge on February 3rd at 10 a.m. at the Logan Courthouse. She will remain in custody until her hearing. Coming up next... Skiers may want Cherry Peak to be open, but first there's a test you don't want to rush. And you may have already paid tuition, but can you afford to come to class? You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. Lisa, you are extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV. and. I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm going to have to block you. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked too. Up, college is hard. Down, those books are heavy. My sport is football, but my passion is education. So every year I take promising high schoolers on a college tour to show them that higher education means a brighter future. My name is Namdi Asamoah. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. You can be a reader, tutor, or mentor too. Take the pledge at liveunited.org slash volunteer. Do you wear this? Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. may be frustrating for skiers and snowboarders, but not for a construction crew in Richmond. The new ski resort Cherry Peak has been under construction for a year and a half. When the resort is finished, there will be 29 tra tra trails and four triple chairlifts. However, this year we'll have only two lifts ready to go. To ensure lift safety, construction crews are now doing weight tests. However, it is not the chairlifts that have caused the delayed opening. We changed the size of the lodge. We made it much larger. Then we had to resubmit the plans and do new architectural and so forth. So we decided to do it right instead of one in, instead of redo it in five years, which probably cost us a good you know most of this year. We have three floors and 40 hand carved tables on the first level. Construction crews hoped to open for the start of the new year, but ran out of time. According to Chadwick, the delays haven't cost them more money, but instead cost them to miss out on the ski season. Cherry Peak currently has no set opening date. Students in the equine department now have a new place to call home. The newly renovated Sam Skaggs Family Equine Center in Wellsville opened this past week. The updated center includes two new labs with the capability of hands-on learning for students as well as a new horse training facility where the horses are kept and trained year-round. Solar panels were also installed during the renovation so energy costs could remain low and the area could stay environmentally friendly. The solar panels produce between 90 and 92 megawatts per hour. Getting kicked in the face may not sound like your typical weight loss program, but for one person, it was all he needed, and he does it daily. Derek Hobbs is a lean, mean, fit machine. However, this was not the case just seven months ago. 
being overweight just happens. And it was about June, I kind of decided just, I was sick of me. I was at 293 pounds and I just wanted to make a difference. So I started looking into MMA. So I came to Gold's Gym and started training with Alpha Set. Found Eric Tilson and he's my trainer, friend, coach, family, everything to me. Derek went from weighing approximately 293 pounds, dropping to 195. He lost a total of 98 pounds in six months. In my relation with people, I have never met anybody that is quote unquote overweight that is happy with the way they look or the way they feel. So if you're wanting to lose a lot of weight and live an overall healthier lifestyle, the key is starting now. Definitely, I think, just start because there's really no excuse. There's no reason to wait until the new year. Why wait? Why not just start as soon as you can? So if you're not happy with yourself, find a reason. Find the reason to change. Caroline Peterson, ATV News. If you'd like to see Derek in action, his next MMA fight will be held on March 21st at 7 p.m. in the Logan Eccles Ice Center. You may have parked in Big Blue Terrace for free last semester, but with changes to the system, you will have to park elsewhere if you don't want to pay. You may have seen these new electronic pay machines next to the Big Blue Terrace and the blue parking by the TSC and wondered what they are. They were installed over the break, and because of them, you can no longer park and wait until 10 o'clock and leave for free. These new machines are 24 hours, 5 days a week. Weekends are free, regardless of how long you stay during the week. You will have to pay when you leave. It's to prevent that from happening continually, to incentivize students to be there for the time that they need, and to pay for that parking while they're there. I'm actually a faculty member, and I'm still parking here. I still got to pay, which is not as cool as... Uh, being able to just park here a couple hours and leave. I like the new system. It makes our job a lot more simple. It's easier. It doesn't break down all the time. Things just work a lot better and it's up to date. Coming up next, David Matthew Stewart will have your Cache Valley weather report. The current wet temperature in Logan is 33 degrees. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. So, I got this new family. And I don't know what it is about this one, but she can't seem to put down that toy all day long. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Oh, and she even talks to it. She talks to that more than she talks to him. What's up, bro? Nice shirt. Who's she talking to? Her mom? She talks to her mom a lot. Hey, everybody. Heart disease affects one in every three women in America, but you can fight back. There's no time to lose. Mothers, sisters, daughters, families, and friends, it's time to shout louder, stand stronger, and demand change. Let's go. To the Batmobile. Dang it. To the invisible jet. Dang it. Together, we can put an end to heart disease. It's time to go red for women. I could use your help. Yeah! Learn more from the American Heart Association at www.goredforwomen.org. Welcome back. So, David, it's January, it's cold, but there's no snow. That's right. I want snow. I'd like to give you snow. It's we, up to me, you know. Yeah, are we going to get any snow? Let's, let's roll on over to the, the national... Let's, look at, let's take a look outside right now and we'll see what's going on. So here's a shot of the uh, roundabout outside of the Ag Science Building earlier today. We've got... You can see snow in the mountains, but not a lot going on out here. No one's walking by in this shot, but we do... You should be wearing a coat still. Let's roll over to the national radar now. And we'll see what's coming in. If we have anything coming in. Who, who can say? Well, you see, we've got about, 
We've got nothing going on over Utah. We've got nothing going on in the Northeast. We've got nothing coming in from Pacific. We do have some stuff to the south of us that I'm standing over down in Texas, um, but nothing up around here and where, where we would like to see the snow. If we could roll on over to the uh, local map. Let's go ahead and check out. So we've got, you can see we've got a little band of, of storms come over here, over um, Duchesne, Emory, uh, Vernal area, but nothing, nothing too major up around here where we are in Logan. Uh, getting rusty at this green screen here. Uh, if, we, if we could roll over to the seven day and we'll see what, what we have coming up. Uh, I don't know where Wednesday went, I'll stand over that. Uh, so we've got today at the high of 33. We're just going to hang around freezing for pretty much the rest of the week. It warms up near the end. We've got sunny. If you look outside, you'll see it's sunny outside today. Tomorrow is also going to be sunny with a little bit of fog in the morning with a high of 32. We'll drop down to 16 that evening. Friday, we're looking at 33, so just pretty much freezing still, but sunny. It's going to be sunny all the way through to the weekend. We've got, if we could uh, look further on down the week, we've got 38 as a high on Saturday, 42 on Sunday, 44 on Monday, and then 43 on Tuesday. By, if you look at the, if you look at the map, um, or the seven day, we can see that there's nothing, nothing too major coming in. Uh, the next storm front that I have coming in is gonna be around next Wednesday. So hold your breath, the inversion's gonna come rolling in, you guys, and you know, if we could, if we could get some snow, I'd, I'd love that, but... So no snow. No, I'm sorry. Nothing <laughs> yet. We, we might have some, a, a really pretty inversion with the beautiful ice crystals on the trees yeah. coming up. Mm -hmm. Just don't breathe. Um, let's toss on over to Brad. <laughs> it's too bad, actually, all the sports are in, indoors now, you guys. Like, it's, it's crazy. It's good weather. But when we come back, we'll have your first Aggie Sports Report of the semester. Here's your check. Oh, you, you got it. You know, since I got rid of my car, I really enjoy walking. Okay. Got it. No? Okay. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Oh, you're home early. You live with your mom? That'll set your game back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Us. Maybe she's just not hungry. Maybe he can't hear us. <gasps> Maybe we're not stimulating him enough. Maybe it's a phase. Avoiding eye contact is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. <laughs> Welcome back, y'all. A lot happened over the break, so let's get started with the biggest news of it all. Stu Morrill has been an Aggie since 1997, and after 17 years at the helm, he is set to retire. There has been one coach to grace the sidelines of the spectrum for those last 17 years, and that coach is Stu Morrill. But after this season, there will be a new face for USU men's basketball. Morrill announced at a press conference that he'll be retiring at the end of the year. He will retire as the winningest head coach in school history with a current record of 395 wins and 150 losses over those 17 seasons at Utah State, and a total record of 613, 288 overall. He led the Aggies to eight NCAA tournament appearances, seven conference championships, and four NIT appearances. It just, it's just time. It's the right time. You know, it's, uh, who gets to stay 17 years anymore in one place? I mean. What a wonderful thing for me and for my family to get to stay at Utah State for 17 years. The university is currently undergoing a national search to find Morrill's replacement. The men's basketball team returned to the court to host the Air Force Falcons after a week off sporting a 2-2 two two conference record. 
The Aggies started off strong, making their first three-point shots, all three, all three three-point baskets, won by Julian Pieri, Chris Smith, and Darius Perkins. But the Falcons responded quickly, cutting the lead to two with 10 minutes left after that layup by Ryan Manning was goaltended by David Collette. The Aggies stormed past Air Force, ending the first half on a 16-8 run to go up 31-21. In the second half, the Falcons made things interesting, twice trimming the Aggie lead to one point, with the second time being 49-48. And that was all she wrote for Air Force as Utah State took over the rest of the game, downing the Falcons 71 to 59, ending the game on a 22 to 11 dunk, and putting a point on it with that dunk right there. We shot a high percentage. We took care of the ball. Uh, those were things that uh, gave us a chance to win, but not easy. Um, you know, Chris Smith had a, obviously a big night. I thought Joseph gave us a real nice lift off the bench, um, and uh, guys did enough to win, and it's a nice win for us. The Aggies were on the road Tuesday night, beating the Nevada Wolfpack 70-54, moving to 4-2 in conference play. They are on the road again this Saturday as they take on the Runnin' Rebels. UCU Hockey enjoyed the Christmas break, winning three of their four games, but they are back on the ice to play Northern Arizona. UCU Hockey enjoyed the Christmas break, winning three of their four games, but they're back on the road. Here we go, we have Matt Mailhoff showed off some of his skills with that goal, and that would not be it as the offensive onslaught put up six goals within the first two periods. The Aggies and Sean Gibbons would try to match the shout shootout, but were only able to muster four goals to the seven from Northern Arizona. The Aggies will try to get things going on the road for the next three games. You can follow USU Hockey on Twitter at, at USU Hockey to keep up to date on those scores. The women's basketball team is 1-4 in conference play after getting their first win Saturday against Air Force. They host the Wolfpack tonight in the Spectrum. The gymnastics team started up as well and are 1-1 one and one after two dual meets. And also the men and women's teams are underway. The men are 3-0 and oh, including a first ever victory for this university over BYU. Both teams have three dual matches each this weekend at home. When we come back... Swapping spit in the name of tradition we will tell you why it meant more to some Aggies. Need an adventure? The Outdoor Recreation Program at USU offers a wide variety of rental equipment. From winter gear like skis, snowshoes, and snowboards, to summer must-haves like kayaks, rafts, and camping gear. From sleeping bags to Dutch oven necessities, we have it all. So stop in and see us. Located at 950 East, 1000 North, in the basement of the distribution building behind Romney Stadium, we're open Mondays through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So stop in or call to get your today, gear today. Today, one out of every four American kids is Hispanic. That means many of the future doctors who will care for us, the engineers who will build our cities, the scientists and entrepreneurs of our country can be your kids. We all know how hard it is for you to send them to college. This is why we want you to know you are not alone. And every day more people support you to make it happen. Many support you. And the Hispanic Scholarship Fund helps you prepare, plan, and pay for your kid's college education. HSF.net. Don't look at me. Your hair's a bit frizzy today. Aww. You should pick that up. Every day, kids witness bullying. Poor you. They want to help, but don't know how. Teach your kids how to be more than a bystander. Visit stopbullying.gov. You may have already rang in the new year, but have you done it as an Aggie? Cold weather didn't stop the couples from rushing out to share their moment under the lights of this old Aggie tradition. Under the full moon, they kissed. Out of all the couples, Megan Hill was asked to be the first person to kiss on the A because she is Miss USU this year. And she brought a special somebody. We're actually engaged and we dated for how long now? We dated for like five years, so... We're getting married in March. <laughs> Even if you don't happen to be engaged during any full moons this semester, you can still sneak a kiss. The Traditions Week dance had events like True Agonite working for it, but also had the holiday weekend working against it. 
The dance started off slowly, but as the night went on, it managed to bring in a, a sizable crowd. Utah State students that stuck around for the holiday weekend danced holiday Friday night. There was music, the multi-talented movement, and a whole lot of it. If you left town for the weekend, there are still a lot of events you can go to. We have a couple more Pobabs, we have Common Hour, we have Mardi Gras coming up on February 7th. Black and White Jazz Night, End of Your Bash, Arts Week is next week, and their annual Masquerade Ball is next Friday. I mean, we have so many events coming up. We have Utah State Elections. I mean, anything and everything that you could think of coming into the spring semester, we've got an Aggie Basketball is starting. So, spring semester is really when the Aggie Pride comes out. For more information, go to usu.edu slash events. So guys, have you like done any of the traditions, like gone to the dance? Like, are you guys true Aggies? I've I'm been here Aggie. since 2010 and I have not been a true Aggie yet. I got my first kiss as a true Aggie. So. I'm a true Aggie. I'm not either, so yeah. hey. hey I'm gonna, <laughs> not everybody does it, but it's pretty common. It's pretty it's lame, true. really. Yeah. Especially yeah. as your first kiss, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> That would be a little awkward, I bet. <laughs> it was. All right. Yeah. <coughs> Thanks for joining us on this edition of ATV News. We'll see you next week. Today, one out of every four American kids is Hispanic. That means many of the future doctors who will care for us, the engineers who will build our cities, the scientists and entrepreneurs of our country can be your kids. We all know how hard it is for you to send them to college. This is why we want you to know you are not alone. And every day more people support you to make it happen. Many support you. And the Hispanic Scholarship Fund helps you prepare, plan and pay for your kid's college education. HSF.net. a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. driving could cost you around ten thousand dollars in fines legal fees and increased insurance rates oh you're home early you live with your mom that'll set your game back a few years buzzed busted and broke because buzz driving is drunk driving body language can tell you all sorts of things 
like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast.